YouTube, what's going on? Monday morning here in the shop. Des is here bright and early, working away. It is freezing cold outside, as I show you guys on Instagram. But yeah, that's the snow that's left over from last night. I know for you guys living back to east or Pacific Northwest, this isn't a lot, but for us in the desert, this is man, a lot of snow. For us here in Vegas, it's like we had a blizzard last night. Um, I think the last time it snowed in my backyard was probably about 10 years ago. Um, but super cool. Uh, Whammo definitely doesn't like it, but we enjoyed it. So the other night, when her husband and I were at the hockey game, oh. what were you doing? I was out with girls. What were you girls doing? Drinking excessively. <laughs> what did you do all yesterday on Sunday? Um, I puked the first part of the day. <laughs> and then I ate some ramen. And I was good. Yeah, so Des went and had a girls night out the other night. And her husband, my buddy Chris, him and I went to the hockey game. Uh, that's where this funny story happened. So Chris and I were walking over to get dinner. And he was, Chris was checking out my jeans. And I was like, yeah, look how stretchy they are. Then I squatted down the elevator and they just straight ripped down the ass crack. <laughs> So what are we doing now, Chris? Going to buy new jeans. <laughs> Crisis averted, went to Lucky, got a new pair of jeans. $80 mistake. But now Chris is buying dinner. <laughs> so yeah, jeans straight ripped. Uh, I do love the American Eagle jeans. That's the first pair that's done that. So I've only worn them once. Hopefully they send me a new pair because they're not the cheapest jeans. But yeah, luckily there was a Lucky brand store on the strip. Was able to fix the problem. All right, guys. So the mail has accumulated. So let's open some stuff. First thing, this package right here. I appreciate everybody's support with these. Uh, for you guys that don't know, I too have to order this stuff from Teespring to rep my own company because we use an outside company to make these, and they came out pretty dang awesome. Ordered some for the QVO team. Bam. Next thing, Trayvax. So you guys all know my buddy Talon. Um, he is rep by a company called Trayvax. They make some pretty cool wallets and belts and pretty much everything he wears. Um, one thing I saw on his last video was a passport holder. So I had to pick myself up one. Bam, like a glove. But this box is something for you guys. Yes, you guys. Over orange carbon fiber. Let me take this film off and you'll be able to see it better. There we go. So yeah, we'll get a couple of these made up, test it real quick, and then we have a lot of carbon fiber colors that are actually gonna come out. Um, carbon fiber OD green, the orange, uh, carbon fiber pink, and carbon fiber purple. So yeah, we want to get those up on the site by the end of the month and let you guys be able to choose those options. What could this be? Grab that knife, guys. Rip it open. Bam. Guys, probably like, what is it? It's a laser engraver. So John and I finally pulled the trigger and ordered a laser engraver to start playing around with. Uh, after going to the laser engraver conference and talking with a bunch of friends, my buddy Vin, you guys saw in the last video, can realize that when you pay those thousands and thousands of dollars for a laser engraver, you're kind of paying for the name. Don't get me wrong, there's a few better qualities with the name brands out there. However, the one that I was gonna order was about $7,000 versus 400 bucks. Um, I'd rather spend the $400, learn what I want to learn on this machine, and then figure out if it's something I want to invest in and go forward with before dropping the $7,000. So I understand that might not make sense to some of you guys out there who think, you know, buy once, cry once, which I do normally agree with, but in this case, $400 to learn versus $7,000 for to might sit there if I don't do anything with it, I'll, I'll take that gamble on this. That's it for the mail call, guys. Um, if you want to send something, PO Box is listed below and we will open it up on the vlog. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys. Finishing up in the shop, this guy's here, Mr. Frankie Shinta. What's up, good night. What'd you buy? 
Uh, Tacoma? Let's go show them real quick. Okay. Come on. Look, brand new taco. Gotta park it. Gangster. <laughs> That's a perfect. 2019? Yep. Man, oh man. Tight. Murder. Murder. That's like a new, new car smell. It's not just a new car, it's like... <laughs> Extra new. It's pretty sweet. The specs. I don't even know yet, to be honest with you. <laughs> it just looked really cool. <laughs> Where are we going, Frankie? Nights, baby. Hey, yo. Hey. So yeah, Frankie's wife got a new car and they went down to look at it and he decided I might as well get a new truck too. So we're gonna take that thing to the Knights game. But before that, as always, a quick shout out to... This one's for Becky Dozel. It's our secondary Ranger Green over Coyote Brown. Becky, awesome color combo. I actually posted your holster on Instagram. Appreciate the support. If you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. We post videos throughout the week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to the game. Actually, you. man, why are you so loud? <laughs>